Okay, good evening guys, how are you? Great. How are you? Yeah. That is good. So we are Edible Advice Consulting, and the question of the day is, how can we help you? We'll tell you. So, let's go. Well, my name is Lindsay Armour. I'm the CEO of the company. I graduated the University of West Georgia with a Master's in Business Management. I have been the CEO at Edible Advice Consulting for eight years now. I have experience in human resource management, international marketing, and marketing, sorry, sales marketing. <coughs> I'm Chelsea Tanner. I'm the vice president of the, the firm. Sorry, I've been here for six years. I have experience in retail, communication, coordinating, and production supervisors. And I graduated from the University of West Georgia with a bachelor's degree. All right, now I'm Pedro Rodriguez. I've graduated from the University of West Georgia with a marketing and management degree. I've been with the company for seven years now. I also worked for Cisco for three years and 15 other major food chain companies throughout the nation. I'm Jessica. I'm the accountant. I have a bachelor's degree from the University of West Georgia. I've been an accountant for eight years and I've worked for the company for six years. I'm Jeffrey Brown. I'm the marketing director here at Edible Advice. I've been here for five years. Um, I graduated at the University of West Georgia with a bachelor's in business management. I have eight years of experience in supervising retail manufacturing and distribution from uh, Hall's Chop House, Eugene Restaurant, and Charleston's group. Okay, last but not least, my name is Brittany Campbell. I graduated from the University of West Georgia with a degree in mass communications. I've been working here at Edible Advice for five years. I've had past experiences at Fox News. I've been um, manager of the Small Business Association as well. Good afternoon. Y'all know my name is Jeffrey Brown. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our company background and who we are. Um, we were founded in 1968 by a woman named Jamie St. Townsend. Uh, 1968, that's 46 years of quality service we have provided to our clients. Uh, she based our company values on five simple words that are very important to us. Those five words are trust, hard work, dedication, integrity, and reliability. The most important of these words is trust. We believe that building a strong trustworthy relationship is the most important into a, a work to being successful. Because without trust, you have no relationship. How are we going to establish trust? We just need one opportunity. With that one opportunity, we're going to use hard work and dedication so that you know that your best interest is always at the top of our priority. We want you to know that you can rely on us to know that we're going to do everything we can to get you where you want to be in your organization to the fullest potential. And we have used these five words for 46 years. So yeah, they're pretty in-depth in our court. So we have a strong sense of integrity, and we're going to use this to help your company or organization. A little bit more about who we are. Our slogan is that we can eat away all your problems. Because we really believe we can eat away all your problems. We have um, a high-qualified team here. We believe any problem you bring to us, we have an answer for. Our mission statement is that we want to deliver exceptional advice to our clients on improving their business while maintaining integrity, trust, dedication, and reliability. Once again, there's those values we believe so much in. And our vision is, states that our purpose is to enhance our customers with the food business they desire, and we aim to make our customer brand more competitive and healthy. Like I said, with our company values, we want to get you where you want to be. We want to help you reach your full potential and to make you satisfied. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Lindsay Armour, and she's going to talk to you about our company goals. So our company goals, we have three main goals. Of course, like any other company, is to increase profit. But we don't make that our main focus because we believe the way we treat our clients is what's going to bring in profit. If we have a good reputation, then that's what's going to happen. Um, again, positive reputation. We, think, we believe here that in order to gain respect, we have to also give respect. We can't just say this is what's wrong, but we have to listen to what your wants and your needs and then go from there. So our keys to success, again those five words, is what makes us successful. Our trust, our dedication, our reliability, our hard work, and our integrity. That's what makes our company so successful in giving you the best service you can get. And we're also like a big family. We don't just want to fight each other to be the most successful in our company, but we also like to see us be successful in our everyday lives as individuals. So now I'm going to pass it. Maybe. 
back to Jeffrey, and he's going to tell us about our previous projects. We believe that nothing says more about a company than their track record. And as you can see, we have a pretty nice track record. We work with some of the most well-known restaurants in the food chain industry. We work with Applebee's, Chick-fil-A, Papa John's, Olive Garden, and Red Lobster. You might ask, how have y'all helped them? Well, for example, Applebee's, they came to us on the way to lure in more customers. So I sat down with my team, and we came up with the idea of two for 20. You may have heard of it. May have heard of it. It's where you get two entrees and an appetizer for $20. For another example, is Red Lobster. They came to us just wanting another idea, you know, just to add more attractiveness to their um, to their menu. So we sat down again, came up with ideas, and we came up with the idea of endless shrimp. Um, that's where somebody can go in during a certain month, pay a certain amount of money, and get as much shrimp as they can eat for that day. Um, with that, I'm going to pass it to Pedro Rodriguez, and he's going to tell you all about our company's steak Thank you. Okay, I'm presenting on the company's image, membership development, and student involvement. <clears throat> the company's image, as everybody knows, is very uh, vital to their success. Who in here has ever stopped going to a store or stopped eating at a restaurant? Because either bad service or just the product has just hasn't met your needs anymore. Could you give me an example? Um. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just remember this restaurant, I remember the name, that had bad service, and bad food. Okay. So that, like, now that shaped your image of that uh, restaurant, so you don't want to go back there. Here, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, well, through our extensive research of my colleagues and I, we believe that your company is lacking in um, efficient, Sorry. And is lacking, your image is being affected by the efficiency of your service and the delivery of your food that is tailored <coughs> to our college students. So we need to change that. Membership development. Here, this is one of the most important things um, you guys could ever have because without your membership, your company doesn't run. Your, most, the majority of your revenues go come by the meal plans being sold by students. And the reason you need us is because you seem to struggle in keeping your numbers from the required meal period till you know, your sophomores, juniors, and seniors. A lot of those students do not keep those meal plans, and here's where we can help. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And lastly, uh, external communications. Your East Commons has a website online, but honestly, who in here log? Who who of the students would go every day, log in, check out the menu, check out the menu information? We don't, you know, students don't really do that. And here's where we can help again. Our my team has uh, had has many ideas on how to create a better image through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram, any other, any other um, social media networks, and once again, we're here to help you. And now I'm gonna turn it off to Miss Brittany Campbell. Thank you. Okay, guys. So I want to start off by telling you that Edible Advice is a team of consultants whose first priority is you guys. We, you are our top priority. So. We're here today to tell you about your internal and external communications and the ways we can help you in to make your business succeed. Okay, so we're first going to start off with phone. Every student here at the university has a cell phone, whether it's iPhone, smartphone, not so smartphone, they have a phone. <laughs> so another way for you to get students to come in is to probably maybe send text messages. Students always have their phones connected to their hip, hip mostly 24-7. So you can send out maybe mass texts telling about certain specials that are going on, the meal of the day, certain meals, like have Fried Chicken Wednesday, how we have that, you can send out, oh, don't forget, today's Wednesday, Fried Chicken Wednesday, just certain things to remind students to come in and to bring in the student account. Also, with phone, another way to get students involved is to download apps. Every student has, like I said, a smartphone where you can download apps, and we can make an app for you where students can go log on, they can see the middle of the day, they can put their feedback, and also put their opinions. 
And later on, I'm going to tell you about the surveys, how you connect the apps and the surveys together. We're going to move on next to the emails. Emails can get overwhelming, as everybody knows. We always, you always get emails from different people on a daily basis. So we are su suggesting to you is to maybe send emails out not as daily, maybe one every other week. And in the emails to make it, make most of the information all in one. To probably make the email, emails more colorful, not just black and white, because that gets boring. Put pictures, put something interesting that's going to grab the students' attention and bring them into your dining services. Now we're going to move on to surveys. Some people may think that surveys are very ancient and we're not, you're not used to doing them on like iPads. So another way to change that is not to do surveys on papers, to maybe switch to a more digital view. The students love technology. That's the big thing. So maybe while students are waiting in line to get their meals or to swipe in, you can have an iPad or somebody standing there and they can fill out a survey, tell you how they feel, tell you about the weight, you know, why they don't like this, why they like that. So that's another way to get students in and to connect it back to the app. You can also include the survey into the app. So when they're on there doing certain stuff, they can do the survey while they're on the app, basically. Kill two birds with one stone. Okay, we're going to pass it to Jessica. How's everybody hanging in there for now? Right. Yeah. I promise it's going to get pretty lengthy from here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody stand up? No. no? Yeah. Okay. Well, we analyzed your company's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And some of your strengths are offering quality service, as well as taking advantage of trends related to healthier eating, such as the salad bar, for example. And some of your weaknesses are your branding and reputation, which your branding, if you have better branding recognition and established reputation, it aims for a higher market share. So that's extremely important. And your physical and digital marketing, marketing would be your posters and your signage to get yourself out there. And opportunities, we're located in small Carrollton. You know, this is a growing community. We've expanded so much. So there's an opportunity for large scale marketing. And I think we all think that offering delivery services or takeout would promote you guys as well. And your number one threat is your pricing strategy, pricing strategy which Chelsea will hit on in your recommendations, and competing restaurants nearby. And to hit on the competing restaurants nearby, there are so many restaurants around you guys that we think your number one competitor would be Papa John's because they have a large scale marketing. Everybody knows of the slogan, better ingredients, better pizza. They are on the radio, on television, they offer promotions, they offer popper rewards, prizes, and email and text deals. So that would be your number one competitor, and they offer delivery and takeout, of course. And another thing that Papa John's does as far as the university, they accept dining dollars. So they're the number one target for the college community at the University of Washington. We're going to pass it back to Ms. Brittany. So another one of you guys' is, um, competitors are is Applebee's, like we said earlier. Applebee's has the two for 20, where people can go get two entrees, an uh, appetizer, or dessert for $20. Who doesn't love that? Um, I mean, you guys' dining services are good, but they're not as good as Applebee's. Um, yeah. Yeah, Applebee's is deal. Also, they have um, half price appetizers after 10, which everybody knows about. Who doesn't love appetizers? And for half price, that's amazing. And the prices for the appetizers range from like $4 to 7 where you guys' prices are up at $8, which Chelsea will talk about later as well. Another thing Applebee's has done is they put a new like mini iPad on the table so where you can view the menu digitally. Like I said earlier, digital is the new thing. View the menu digitally and even play games for like 99 cents. So it basically entertains you while you're waiting for your food, which is better. In conclusion, I want you guys to know that Edible Advice is... It's a way to go. And also, if you guys take heed to our suggestions and methods of communication, you guys will soar to higher heights, have more student involvement, have more students coming in and eating with you guys at Dining Services. And now we're going to pass it on to Chelsea and Lizzie for recognition. Hi, good evening. I promise we're almost done, but this is the best part. We're here to tell you how we can help you better your image in your um, communication with our recommendations. We have three areas that we're focusing on, and that's the organizational image, the membership development, and the student involvement. Okay, organizational image. First off, 
Do anybody here with show of hands have a meal plan? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> two, three. Okay, does anybody go to the East Commons on a regular basis or has visited the East Commons? Okay, I'm going to change that. As soon as we leave this class. Okay, organizational image. Um, we've had complaints by students about the cleanliness of the dishes and utensils. They're not all the way clean. We found out that the East Commons do have a dishwasher. I guess it's run its course because it stains and water stains left on the dishes. So our recommendation we came up with that East Commons hire a special employee to specifically wash the dishes before putting them in the machine to be run through. Our second recommendation is better food choices. Airmark is known for their gourmet and dressed up foods like stuffed bell peppers. This is college. We don't eat that stuff. <laughs> We're looking for stuff that our parents make at home like macaroni cheese and chicken fingers, mm. things of that nature. <laughs> so we feel like they, it's time to expand and make better food choices. The third recommendation we have is electric outlets. Um, many people on campus look for comfortable environments where they can go and sit and study, chill, communicate with their friends. They can do all of this there at East Thomas except that East Thomas does not offer electric outlets. So we recommended that there be outlets in every um, section of the dining area, the eating areas. So this will allow students to come and bring their laptops and their phones and to get them charged up. The last recommendation for organizational image is faster service. I know in between periods you guys have like a 30 minute time to like run and grab something to eat and you can't do this because of the long lines. Yeah, that's got to stop. Mm -hmm. We recommended that East Commons hire more employees to prep before these time periods and as well have them at East Station, more than one person at East Station hoping to serve. Okay, our next area is member development. Ladies are going to talk about teachers. So who doesn't like getting free teachers? We've all established that. So our suggestion was, like every other organization on campus, was to give out t-shirts. It's not too expensive, and it's easy to do. Just give out t-shirts maybe the week of exams. Say, if you come and be, visit the East Commons to eat, you get a free t-shirt. Okay. Because I want a free t-shirt. We also have another recommendation of holding a raffle. Students will purchase a raffle ticket between one and two dollars. The marketing director will come up with a free giveaway, like a gift, and they will place in a, um, sorry, the um, raffle bin, who's ever picked, they will win the gift that the marketing director came up with as long as one month's free entrance into the East Commons. This will attract more students to get involved, as well as we have a voting poll that we suggested that you add to you guys, Dying West website, um, having like three to four meals posted up, and then students can um, vote and see what meals they have. This voting period starts on Monday and on Friday, and the winning meal will be Place insert in the East Commons on Tuesday. This gives students say in what they want to eat. And as we've established, not many people have meal plans. We know freshmen are allowed, or man, it's mandatory, I guess, required to have a meal plan. But the goal is to let y'all keep those meal plans past your freshman year. So again, with the previous recommendations and the ones that we've done now, we think that will help increase your student involvement. Last area is external communications. Prices. A regular guest meal without a student ID or meal plan is $8.29. No, too much money. Okay, so we decided that these prices need to be decreased. People who are enrolled in school, students who are enrolled in school or have a proof of showing their student ID, they should be allowed to pay the faculty discounted price of $6.42, and that's for dinner. For lunch and dinner, faculty members. I'm sorry. Let me go back a little bit. Faculty di um, dinners are 6.42, and their lunch dinner is. I mean, their lunch price is 5.35, and students and guests period all pay 8.29. So we're asking, <laughs> recommending. <laughs> I'm sorry so much. We're recommending that these prices decrease from regular guest meals that have students who have or are. I'm sorry, are enrolled in school be dropped down to 6.42 where the faculty dinner prices is. And as well, we found out that there are no children prices. People outside, like their, their siblings, may come and visit you, you know, with your parents, and as well as faculty bringing their um, younger kids here. 
we decided that there should be a discount of price of children seven and under pay five thirty five, which is the faculty lunch price. And the last few, I'm going to tie them together and make it short. But menus, like we said, there's not really a set menu. Um, yeah, there's some on the website, but it's not consistent. It's not up to date. So again, we said to tie in the menu with different external communications, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, a mass text, email. And that's why also it can advertise your um, menu to the students and make them want to come to eat at the East Commons. And not last. But our funding, sorry, I cut it off. But like I said, in order to implement any of these recommendations, it's obviously going to cost you some money. But in the long run, it's also going to improve your, increase your profit. So for the organizational image, like I said, Electrical Atlas. Yes, it's expensive, it's kind of pricey, but it's a one-time fee. And it will allow students to be able to eat while studying and also communicating. Organization, or student involvement, again, the raffles, 24 dollars basically $25 for a roll of raffles. You can't beat that if you charge a student a dollar per ticket and all that money ends up paying for that winner who wins the prize. And again, the student bought t-shirts, like I said, again, a little pricey, but you can buy them in bulk from 500 to 1,000 for only six bucks and that is including all colors, both sides. And external communications, sorry I cut it off. Again, coupons, just kind of giving them out. You can do discounted prices, like 50, 20% off. It will only cost you around $124, but it'll also increase student morale. And that is all. We just want to thank, thank you. Thank you. Do I have any questions? Oh, and we have we will explain our takeaways. Um, since our logo is apples, we decided to do caramel apples. <laughs> we decided to do camera apples. Um, you see our business card is connected to the ribbon, which our ribbon matches our logo colors, so enjoy. Why would working with your consulting company be a smart choice? Well, our team of consultants, we have lots of experience all together, and we've been growing ever since. We've been work, doing quality work for over 46 years, so we all think it's a great option. Yes. Um, what were the charge all with your recommendations? Of course, risk. Yeah, you have risks such as like your pricing. Do you want to pay the prices? But then again, I think all the risks that we have end up turning into positive things in the long run. I have a random question. Um, a couple years ago, I know y'all mentioned that y'all wanted more macaroni cheese chicken fingers. Well, I was here at the time. We had chicken fingers, we had wings, we had everything. That changed because the parents of the students wanted a healthier choice. So with that being stated, has, I mean, do you feel like there has been a change or do you think, because there's other companies that can come in besides Airmark. Do you suggest that we should look into other companies as well? Because we could get Airmark off the campus. Well, we don't want to, we don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> we should help Airmark. Air Airmark. So you're yes. here for Airmark or the whole Dining We're here to help Airmark out. Yeah. But they're part of it, so we're helping them. <laughs> but Airmark's not part of what George is just on campus. Yeah, I know. Yes. 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 But with that, we're not going to take away the healthy foods. We still want to choose what the healthy food that we're choosing. It should be like healthy food that we're known, like green beans and carrots, like all that other stuff that we're making. They might look at that. Yeah. Yeah. What risks are involved in the user recommendations? Oh, I'm sorry. Make sure everyone allows people to hear the questions. Yeah. How much time and or effort will be needed to put the recommendations in place? As far as time goes, um, the outlets are obviously going to take time. If you can't do that overnight, it's probably going to take a few weeks, um, give or take, depending on when they implement. Um, T-shirts, they can be made in probably a week. Raffles, you can go buy those at Walmart tomorrow if you wanted to. Um, and so, I mean, it's not going to take a lot of time, and it won't take much effort, because most of it is going to have to be done by someone else anyways. Yes? Uh, why should we trust your recommendations to improve our department organization now and in the future? You should trust us, because our first priority is you, not just Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Uh, why 
how should we trust your recommendations to improve our department and organization now and into the future? Okay, right now, um, it's, it's, it's too many student complaints, and that's not good. So, our recommendations will lead you into a better student involvement because right now, it's not much students getting involved. Like, we only had three people who had meal plans, and when I asked you guys, like, you guys did the e-commerce, nobody raised their hand. So, our recommendation is trying to pull more <coughs> customers in, promoting by promoting, getting your name out there, and helping you better your image. Yeah, like I said, you guys are our first priority, so whatever we do is going to be in the best interest for you guys, and that's why you trust us, because we are here for you. We do this for you. Mm. Mm. That is our final question. Yes. yes. How can your recommendation of t-shirts help to increase our student base for future growth? Honestly, t-shirts. You can put the dime less than one. You're gonna, I mean, it's going to, when you walk out of the, wherever you're from, it's going to be advertisement for Dine West at West Georgia. So it could bring in people, okay, well, what's that? Now I'm kind of interested. And it could bring people who maybe not even be college students or potential college students, high schoolers, that want to know more. Thank you guys so much.